Hi, Dan Green here. Bill, I wanted to ask you a hypothetical. If the moon was really made out of green cheese, how much mass would it have? What would its gravity be like? How would it affect our tides differently than the real moon does? And just for fun, how much milk would it take to make that much green cheese? Thanks for your answer. Dan, a uh, great question about the moon being made of cheese, specifically as I understand green cheese. Yeah. If it were green cheese, like really green, I would expect it to reflect a little more green light than it does. Yeah. I mean, it would depend. Does it have a rind? Does it have that wax that they put on in the cheese shops? I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I can tell you from experience that in general, cheese floats in general. I Oh. So, uh, did not know that. With floating cheese, you got to figure its specific gravity. That is to say, how much mass it has for how much volume it takes up. This Fair is enough. Less okay. Than rocks. Rocks are. Well, if water is one, rocks are one and a half. They're two. They're twice as dense as water. They're not okay. three times as dense. Twice as dense. Rocks sink, but they don't sink like a bullet. All right. Uh, so, it, a moon that was. 80% the mass of the current moon right. would have 80% of the effect on the tides. Hmm. But if it were 80% of the, fa of the mass, its orbital distance would probably be different. Hmm. Would it be set up to libate in the same way that is to say the moon currently keeps the same face to us True. with every orbit? So we might see more and of the moon. Has to do this yeah. Because it spins almost right. exactly one time hmm. as it go goes around the Earth. It spins has a little wobble to it. We actually right. see so much more than just half of the moon if you're really diligent with a telescope mm. and close attention. And then uh, the other thing I would wonder about a cheese moon, uh, you know, rocks, rocks are pretty solid. Right. But uh, cheese often is not. I wonder if it wouldn't have uh, modes or vibrational oscillations. Oh, yeah. It might, shape. like, spin itself uh, apart. Noticeable. I or something. Its spin wouldn't... Yeah spinning once with each orbit. I wonder if it wouldn't have lose. an equatorial bow. Yeah, like lose pieces of what itself. what happened to when other cheesy objects hit it, you know, meteorites of cheese, cheesierites, whatever they're cool. called. And, uh... Why would the uh, meteorites be made of cheese? I wonder if it would or evaporate in the blackness of space. Mm. Also, cheese freezes. That's true. So, uh, on the, the uh, far side of the moon, or the near side, depending on the time of month, you might have some lunar freeze. That's I didn't. Would have, could I didn't think about that. The shape because it would affect its its, its gravity um, with one side solid, changing density mm. relative to the other side. The geode, as it's called, the, the shape uh, would change with its own gravity. Right. So there'd be some issues. You'd yeah. Right away. Yeah. And I think another issue to keep in mind. Um, if the moon turns out to be made of cheese, it just really expands our uh, possibilities for a lunar base. Mm. And uh, it's all the, you know, because there'd be sort of limitless food. Uh, no, 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 no. The more we the eat of, who are of the cheese moon, the less moon there would be. We would run out of cheese way. food moon. If it turns out that it's made of green cheese. You didn't answer the question about the milk. How much milk would it take to make a moon out of cheese? Mmm. Very slick there, Bill Nye. So, wow, I've learned a lot from that. So, my reaction to that Bill Nye answered that bizarre question that I thought there's no possible way that he would ever answer this question.